Again, okay, welcome to Mathematical Structure for Computer Science. This is CS113 class, also known as, as a discrete mathematics. So this lecture is an introductory lecture for the course. So in this lecture, we're going to go through what is a discrete mathematics, uh, what kind of concepts involved on it, example, problem examples, etc. So here we know that the discrete mathematics course has more than one purpose. So students should learn a particular set of mathematical facts and also how to apply them. More importantly, such as a, a course should teach students how to think logically and also uh, mathematically. So to achieve these goals, uh, this course will stress mathematical reasoning and also different ways problems are solved. Uh, we may go through five most important uh, parts of problems, uh, different types of problems that can be solved. First, again, discrete mathematics is part of mathematics devoted to the study of discrete objects. Uh, for example, college algebra or calculus is, deals with continuous objects which is not part of discrete mathematics. So example of a discrete object can be integers. That's the whole numbers. And so a decimal number is a continuous. Or steps taken by a computer program, it will be step one at a time. So it's discrete. In statistics, we also use these two terms. A discrete variable is based on counting and items. So it have to be a whole number, like how many patients we have in the hospital. Then this is a discrete because it's based on counting. Now, what is the weight of a patient? That will be continuous because the weight can be 20.34 kilograms, etc. So continuous in statistics, continuous is based on measurement and discrete is based on counting. Uh, kind of the same step, step uh, concept here also. So example, steps taken by a computer program, we can, we can count the number of steps. We can measure the steps. Or distant paths to travel from point A to B on a map along a road network. Ways to pick a winning set of numbers in a lottery. So a course in discrete math mathematics provide the mathematical background needed for all subsequent courses in computer science. So most computer science majors in most schools, colleges, discrete mathematics is a, is a required course to be taken. So what kind of problems we can solve using the discrete mathematics? Example here, we say how many ways can a password be chosen following specific rules or how many valid internet addresses are there? Well, we can see that these two questions will be based on counting concept or combination concept. Also, what is the probability of winning a particular lottery? Is there a link between two computers in a network? Also, how can I identify spam email messages? This will be based on the content of the email or the subject, the title of the email. It can be based on the accounting of the number of words in a email. So how can I encrypt a message so that no unintended recipient can read it? How can we build a circuit that has two integers? Uh, what is the shortest path between two cities using a transportation system? or find the shortest tour that visit each of the group of cities only once and then ends in the starting city. So we can see this problem is the concept of graph. We have the a graph theory for uh, falling theory, a Euless, a Euless theory or Hamilton networking system, uh, graph path, Hamilton path. So we may go through all these uh, subject uh, topics. How can we represent English sentences so that computer can reason with it? And how can we prove that there's infinity many prime numbers? 
So again, these are different kinds of problems that we can again use the concept of discrete mathematics to solve it. So the goals of a course in a discrete mathematics, one is to gain a mathematical reasoning. A mathematical reasoning is ability to read, understand, or be able to construct a mathematical argument and proofs. And actually this will be our chapter one topic. So students must understand mathematical reason in order to read, comprehend, construct mathematical arguments. And this course again starts with a discussion of mathematical logic in chapter, that will be our first lectures. And the next is algorithmic thinking. Uh, one way to solve many problems is to specify an algorithm, especially in computer science. Before we solve a problem, we have to design the algorithm. Algorithm is the steps. Here we say an algorithm is the sequence of steps that can be followed to solve any instance of a particular problem. So the key word is the sequence of steps. So which means if I'm solving a problem, the first thing that I have to do first, I must do it before I move to the second. I can't do a second solution because before going to first. So example, I'm trying to go to work in the morning. The first thing I will do most likely is to take shower before I will put on my uniform or my clothes to work. Now, if I put on my uniform, my work uniform, before I take shower, then I'm going to get wet. So everything has to be in sequence. The same thing if you are cooking a, a menu or a dish, you do the first thing first, second thing second, and you keep going. Otherwise, you may end up not cooking the right meal that you want to if we miss the steps. So an algorithm is a sequence of steps that can be followed to solve any instance of a particular problem. Also, we should know the applications and modeling. So this is very important, especially in computer science. Uh, we, do, we do a lot of modeling and simulations. So it's important to appreciate and understand the wide range of applications of, of the topics in discrete mathematics and also develop the ability to develop new models in various domains, maybe from engineering to retailing, medicine, etc. Also, the concept from discrete mathematics have not only been used to address problems in computing, but also can be applied to solve problems in many areas, such as chemistry, biology, linguistic geography, business, etc. So the next is computer science. So topics in discrete mathematics will be important in many courses that you will take in the future. Computer science is one. For example, computer architecture. In this course, we're going to discuss about Boolean algebra and logic circuit, which is used in computer architecture. We may discuss about graph, and some other structures, uh, which normally is a data structure and algorithm course. We talk about, we will talk about set and other concepts. So programming, compiler, all this again, uh, discrete mathematics background will make it easy for us. In mathematics, logic, set theory, probability, number theory, abstract algebra, and graph theory, et cetera. So this will be the end of these lectures. Again, in these lectures, I just want us to understand the concept of discrete mathematics and what is the definition, what kind of uh, topics involved, and what kind of problems we can solve using uh, the techniques of discrete mathematics. So I'll see you in the next lectures, which we're going to start with proof, log proof and logic. Thank you.